Um, it's a matter of fact that due to the social problems that have emerged um, in Greece, the financial crisis especially, uh, many young people, my generation especially, are, li are leaving Greece at a rate that is similar to the um, emigration waves back in the 60s. So my question is, what should the unity government do to um, keep this, these people back in Greece or even bring them back to Greece? Well, uh, I have to disappoint you, because this is a very wonderful myth that has been promoted by the left-wing uh, parties in Greece. The rate of immigration, uh, if we judge the numbers of people leaving Greece and the people coming in Greece and having the Greek nationality, because we can't uh, include the tourists, of course, uh, has not changed in the last five years. So there is not such phenomenon. There is, there is not, there is not, absolutely not, it's a mistake, it's a lie that the young Greeks run away from the country. It's absolutely, it's, a, it's totally false red propaganda. In the sameless propaganda that only the communists can express in such a systematic way. Now, what we have in Greece is the 47,000 that study abroad. Uh, we are the third community in the world, after the Chinese and the Indians, that have the biggest number of students abroad. Why is it so? Because the Greek university is in a mess. It has been totally destroyed by totalitarian minorities, extreme leftists, who occupy actually the Greek university militarily, and don't allow other uh, opinions to be expressed freely, treat badly their professors and their fellow students. Uh, it's a terrorist situation. I cannot speak in the Greek university. I can speak to you today. It's impossible. And many people like me, or and like me. I read in some newspaper that in a Belgian university, there was a pedophile congress where the pedophiles came and expressed their point of view. I find it monstrous. <laughs> but it shows what academic asylum means. It means that anybody can say anything without a consequence, whatever. The Greek university is the university in the 21st century, where you are not a Leninist or some kind of Leninist, you cannot express yourself. So this destroyed the Greek university, and there is a runaway of Greek brains, Greek talents, Greek youth, because they can't study in the country. I don't mean that everybody has to study in the country, stay in the country all his life and not try in other experiences and so on, but uh, we have people that cannot study in the country because they cannot uh, afford uh, the situation in the Greek universities. It's a major political, social and cultural problem. The liberation of the Greek university from the for, for the forces of red totalitarianism. Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, with the recent events of the Arab Spring, we saw the youth play a key role uh, within the Arab Spring. Uh, as we see, as we see in Greece, uh, a a, a current crisis and kind of separation between generation gaps. How would you advise the youth to uh, to address themselves to get th to have their voices heard? Uh, well, uh, I think there are two distinctions to make. Um, there are three distinctions to make between the uh, situation in Greece and situation in the different Arab countries, uh, where we notice the phenomenon called the Arab Spring. Um, first of all was that these countries had authoritarian regimes. This is not the case of Greece. The problem of Greece is too much liberty, not the lack of liberty. I don't uh, advocate uh, less liberty, I advocate more discipline. So uh, the second thing is there is no generation gap in the way it, there is in the Arab countries because you are very young societies. The majority of the population in most Arab countries is young because the rate of growth of the population is so high. In Greece, for several years, uh, for several decades, we have a low of growth of the population 
that is inferior to 1.5 percent, which is less than the reproductive uh, rate of growth. That means that the Greek population is aging. Uh, one fifth of uh, the population in most Arab countries is below 16. One fifth of the population in Greece is over 65. So it's exactly the contrary problem we have in this from one you have in the Arab countries, how to have a younger population. <laughs> and the third thing is that uh, although there is a problem in the <coughs> conditions of life and the level of life and the employment in Greece, you cannot it compare, it cannot be compared with the existing situation in the Arab countries, especially with the situation such as in Egypt, for instance, it, it, it can't be compared in any way. Greece, uh, with all its problems, is still the 27th strongest eco economy in the world.